All right, guys, what is going on? We are just about to start cheat day number 41, I believe. And as you guys can see, we got Burger King once again, one of my favorite go-to breakfasts for sure. It is close to where I live now, which is amazing. <clears throat> Whenever I go here, I usually get the, definitely French toast sticks is a must have, sausage croissant, which, and a bacon croissant, which with some hash browns. Mmm, mmm, unreal. Now, I am a little bit upset myself because I did forget my friggin' water bottle once again. I'm pretty sure I forget that more than I take it. I always take water with me because like one measly little orange juice is definitely not enough. So I am going to be perched after I'm eating, <laughs> done eating this. But it is what it is. As soon as it goes home, I'll be chugging some water. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Let's start this day off with this beautiful bacon croissant with here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Can't go wrong. Mmm. Unreal. I'm trying to turn my heater off. It's not working. It's not like making this sound. It's actually so windy here today. Like my vehicle is like li literally like this. I don't know if you can notice it, but it's it's literally shaking. It's it's crazy. Oh, nothing like orange juice with breakfast though. Loves it. Just sad how big the the size of it, right? Like just sad. It says shake well, and you know what? I don't believe you can't really. I don't. I don't think you can get a really good shake until you take a mouthful of it, because then then you got like room to actually shake it. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you're wondering, it's currently 10.38. A little bit of a late start. I usually don't start that early anymore because, uh, like, on the weekends, I do get up throughout the night with uh, baby Chloe, and so I'm pretty well rode off in the morning, so it is what it is. You gotta make some adjustments sometimes in life and move forward. Man, these are actually a toss-up between this. It's a toss-up between this and uh, McRiddles. See, Hamas needs it together to have a true like comparison, but like these these croissant sandwiches are just unreal. I love these like croissants. If they can somehow infuse those with maple syrup, oh my god! I just had an idea. Dip this in maple syrup. Same thing. What else do you want? Mmm, sweet and savory, baby. Once again. Never got ketchup for my hash browns. I feel like they should just automatically give you that, but they don't. All right, let's dive into these French toast sticks here now. I gotta be super careful with these because uh, I find this syrup is so thick and sticky and like you gotta be careful when you're going to eat it because if it drips on you, you're screwed. All right, I'll probably mention this already before, but look how cool. The Burger King uh, boxes totally set up perfectly for like sauces. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. The only thing I don't like is, I think that thing is made for more so like sweet and sour and stuff like that. And this maple syrup one is kind of like, I think it's like a bit of a bigger container, so it's harder to get in there. But you just gotta like put some uh, elbow grease in it. Oh wow! I think they actually do deep fry bread. I'm pretty sure I got. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm holding uh, a piece of the heel by the look of it. See that side? You can see that side. So, it's really good, regardless. So I don't care what it is. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and uh, first of all, open up this other maple syrup. And I am going to be dipping this other croissant which in this the whole time, I would say. Turning it, turning it into a croissant which griddle. What's a good name for that? Comment down below. Come up with a good uh, combination name there. Make make sandwich. What about uh, Kranz griddle? <laughs> Chris gr Chris griddle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's just try it. Out. Let's try it. Out. Let's try it. Out. Oh yeah. Really, I should just pour it on. But mmm, man, that is unreal. We got a new combination here, ladies and gentlemen. Unreal. This is definitely by far the thickest freaking maple syrup I've ever like ate. Well, it's that thick, it's hard to even dip anything in it. It's, it's literally like almost like honey, and you know what honey is like. Finish out these hash browns here now.
All right, guys, that wraps up this meal. That was absolutely delicious. Uh, gonna hit the gym now in a couple hours, and then we got something, I got something pretty big planned. Well, not really big, but it's something very unique and new to the channel. It's only around for today only. So stick around if you wanna see it. It's basically a uh, massive Super Bowl pizza made just for today. Uh, one of my local restaurants, uh, pizza restaurants here is making it. It's called like a matzo stick wing pizza. So basically it's pizza made with wings around for the crust and pepperoni and cheese and matzo sticks all throughout the middle. So I feel like it's gonna be like a lot of cheese. It's either gonna be really good or like half nasty. So I guess we'll wait and see. And also bringing a friend on the channel, uh, first time ever, he's been asking me for a while now, but uh, uh, just life is busy and whatnot. So anyways, see you guys soon. Chloe, what are you doing? Chloe bear, what are you doing? Looking up at that big old raccoon tail. Say hi to everyone. Say hi. Say hi. Ooh. All right, guys, we are finally back for meal number two. This is kind of, once again, the same thing I done last time, last week. I was just super busy and uh, kind of turned uh, two meals into the one. So this is two different meals from Pad Thai, uh, Thai Express in the Avalon Mall. My wife was going to the mall to change something and buy something for Chloe's christening. So this was a perfect opportunity for me to finally try out the Thai Express. I've, I've heard many great things about this place. Uh, in particular, there's pad thai right here. I'm super pumped to try this because I love pad thai. And so this here is a General Tao's chicken as well with rice. So I can't wait to try that as well. And we got two spring rolls. So I'm just going to dump this out on the plate to make it a little bit easier to eat. Perfect square. Would you, would you look at that? It smells delicious. And nutritious. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Plus, of course, I got two egg rolls here. I'm just gonna leave that there. Spring rolls. I actually forgot my one of my cords for my external monitor at work, so I'm doing my uh, makeshift monitor here. It's a war It's an app, and it's just wirelessly. It just uses my phone as a monitor, like through Bluetooth. It's actually pretty wa or through Wi-Fi or something. It's actually pretty wild technology, honestly. But it's a little bit like choppy, so it's not as good. But it'll work for now. All right. Without further ado, let's dive into. Oh, this is actually way more than I, I actually thought, because in those boxes they look super small. It looks super small. Yeah, this is uh, pretty good. Should be a good meal. As you can see plate is full. All right, without further ado, let's try this pad thai. Let's see what my buddy Mike Keating is talking about here. Oh yeah, that's what's up. That is what's up. That is amazing. Huge fan of uh, pad thai. Love the noodles and everything like that. Absolutely love spring rolls as well. Probably should have got more. Mm. All right, let's try this General Tao's chicken out here now. Not too bad, but I think it would have been a little bit better if it was fresher, like if I ate it out there as soon as I ordered it. Cause like, I think it kind of, the steam and everything kind of like makes it a little bit like soggy in a way, if you know what I'm saying. So, but still good, but you know, I got that little sogginess there. I just want to say this pad thai is actually amazing. I'll certainly be getting it again one day down the road. And another one of my favorite pad thais is actually down to Jack Astor's. Definitely a toss up between that and this one. It's, it's made completely different though. All right, next, let's go ahead and eat this last egg roll, sadly. I kind of wish I had like two more, honestly. Of 
Chloe said she wanted to go on camera, so a little break here. Oh, Chloe Bear. Oh, Chloe Bear. Say hi to everyone. Oh, I can't oh. say because I'm just staring at you. Oh my, I'm gonna get you. Oh, the camera. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. This is gonna be some funny watching back after. Oh my. Oh dad, don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> what? What is it? I'm gonna get you. <gasps> oh man, don't go record me with that camera. I'll stop what I'm doing. Say bye, guys. Dad gotta finish his food. Dad gotta finish his food. All right. The uh, Hollywood star is gone back off camera now, getting her makeup touched up. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. Time to finish this food off right now. All right, guys, that wraps up this meal. This was absolutely delicious. I can easily destroy the rest of this, but my wife kind of wants to try it. She's a little bit hungry. She's saying I can eat it, but I do feel bad, so I'm gonna just save a little bit of, little, little bit of, little, 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 few crumbs, you know? A little bit of rice, a little bit of pad thai. Not that much, but she can have a little taste. But yeah, anyways, I got something big planned for the next one. Well, not really big, but it's the pizza I was telling you about. So hopefully, uh, you know, he doesn't sell out or somehow I can't get it later because it's only today. So yeah, I will see you guys in a few hours for the next meal. Ooh, all right guys, as you guys can see, we uh, we have something new on the channel here. Never had this before, and actually this is actually new to the restaurant, let alone the channel. Uh, so I got Fionn McCool's here. If you're located in St. John's, you know what restaurant I'm talking about. Went with potato skins, haven't had these in a long time. Never on the channel actually, so super pumped to try those. Really hoping they're not soggy though. That's the downfall about like using like uh, Skip the Dishes or DoorDash. But it is super convenient, and I probably will be using it more now moving forward for my last meal, because I literally hate, hate leaving the house like when it's like this late. I just don't want to, just home for the night, not in the mood, not interested. And I went with this, uh, I forget the actual name of it, but waffle fries and it's just some kind of new chicken burger they got there. It actually looks and sounds amazing, smells good, looks good, what else do you want? And I got this amazingly plain looking $10 piece of cheesecake. <laughs> It was supposed to come with either chocolate sauce or toffee sauce. I chose chocolate, never got anything. Now, in, in, in reality, I'd like to have some kind of like strawberry sauce over it. If I had some here, I'd love to drizzle it over, but I don't. So it is what it is. Anyways, without further ado, I actually got ketchup from a fries today too, so that's amazing. Let's dive right in. You know I'm gonna check out this chicken burger first. Oh my God. That is actually amazing. So two big pieces of chicken, breaded with coleslaw. Sick. Mmm. <laughs> That's the one thing I hate about having like burgers with multiple pieces of chicken on it. Like it always just ends up falling off like that. It's not just the one patty like. Oh yeah, guys, and I forgot to mention earlier, uh, my plans with Ryan, uh, my buddy Ryan totally went out the window. Something came up with him and um, it just didn't work out today. So that was fine. So the plan was to get pizza for the second meal, but then I changed my mind earlier because my wife was at the mall. So I got those other two meals, which was amazing. So I plan on getting that pizza that I was talking about like tonight. 
I called the pizza shop like 8.05 and they were like, yeah, I'm sorry, we, uh, we just closed at 8 o'clock. So I was a little bit upset about that because I did want to try that unique pizza. It, uh, and unfortunately it was only for today only. So I, I, although I do know the owner and I could possibly reach out to him to see if he'd do it for me again, but we'll see. But at least I got some new items here regardless. I always like new items. All right, let's try out these old potato skins here now. Unfortunately, they do look a little bit soggy, but we shall see. Mmm. They're actually not too bad. The only thing I will say though is the, uh, they're not really, well, the rest might be fine, but that one I just ate was like a thick piece of potato. Wasn't really say skin. So this burger is actually amazing, but as you guys can see, I'm struggling with eating it. When I take a bite, I almost take all the chicken off with it. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, it's really good. I really like the coleslaw on the burger. That is amazing. Okay, let's check out these, some more uh, potato skins. There's two potato skins left, but I don't even know if I'm gonna eat them, honestly. Like, this one is like super thick. I'm not really enjoying them like I thought I would. I kinda like my potato skins, honest, honestly, like thinner, almost like a bit crispier. These are like, you know, I've had this conversation before about like big taters and small taters. Well, big taters should be illegal. Well, that's essentially what this is here, a freaking big tater, which is just fun, but I'm, it just feels like I'm biting into a potato. Like, you know what I mean? It's not, it's, I don't know. It's, it's okay, but would I get them again? They're good, but probably not. So let me just get into this cheesecake here now. Really want to try something sweet. I hope, I hope this, I really, really hope this is good. Oh, wow. That is rich. That is good. I got a feeling that, that little bit of cheesecake there is gonna be just enough there now to wet my whistle. <laughs> Yeah, there's a couple waffle fries there left and I'm not really feeling those either. They're kind of super soggy. So I'm just gonna enjoy this lovely cheesecake now. A little bit of strawberry sauce on that now. Oh man. All right, guys, that wraps up another cheat day. It was amazing, to say the least. And honestly, where I'm so busy lately, I'm kind of enjoying the, the three meals per day rather than four because it kind of gives me that little bit of extra time to do everything that I need to do, and it gets a little bit lower, a little bit more enjoyable and less like hectic and stressful. So I might keep the ball rolling. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Are you, are you guys fine with the three, three meals versus the four? I don't think it's really a big deal either way. I still like eat a pile of food and I kind of enjoy it, but comment down below and let me know your thoughts. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My dog needs to go out and pee, so uh, leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, peace.